So you want to monitor your 3D printer with OctoPrint, but you don't want to spend five times as much as it normally costs to get a Raspberry Pi. Well, there are other options. You can install it on a tablet, a phone, an extra laptop, and you can use it on a Windows machine, which is what I'm gonna try because I haven't installed it on Windows before. There's a handy uh, little guide that they have. I'll link in the description. I found this computer all-in-one mini PC for under $100. It's already got a webcam embedded in it, so it will work perfectly for what I want it to. I can't necessarily recommend this because after a month or two of using it, it stopped working, it wouldn't turn on. And after contacting the Amazon store that I bought it from, I never got a response and it was right after the period for return. So that's that. But if you do happen to have an extra Windows laptop or other computer laying around that you aren't using, you could convert it into an installation of Octoprint to monitor your 3D printer. One drawback to doing it this way is that you will not be able to automatically update Octoprint. You will have to update it through the command line once it's installed. Also, Windows likes to automatically reboot itself after updates, so keep that in mind. It may be helpful to disable any automatic reboots or updates if you want it to be standalone without a monitor, keyboard, and all that extra stuff that you would normally need, you could enable auto login and then use a remote software to take control of it from another computer. If you don't have a software available, I used Google Chrome Remote Desktop in this video because it was free. Once you have Octoprint installed and set up and your remote software ready, then you can just take your computer with your webcam and just plug in power, turn it on and let it go. And then anytime you need to do anything to it, you can just remote into it from another computer. When I did it, I just disabled updates altogether, but forgot to actually update it first. So make sure that you update your computer all the way first, and then you can disable that. When you install Visual Studio, it will complain if you don't have a specific build number. So in order to avoid having any issues with that. Run Windows updates first. Well, now to show you a list of the coolest people in the world. Thank you so much supporters for your donations. If you would also like to support this channel, just check out the links in the description. And now we'll go ahead and just set it up and I'm just following that guide. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you don't have to, you can just follow the guide. If you get stuck anywhere, you can come back and see what I did to get it to work or just keep watching and see what you're getting yourself into.
now that it's all set and working, all you need to do is plug in the power and put your camera aimed at your printer where you want it, and then make sure to plug your computer into your 3D printer. Then you can upload your files to OctoPrint on your computer and then do a test print. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you liked it, make sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe for future videos.